So you decided to go ahead and chop them down? Yeah, these, uh, you can tell they're frozen because they, the way they cut, it's not, not real, uh, strong. So I'm just cutting all the, the mushier parts of it. Hopefully, it'll probably start coming out again, but it's probably not going to start coming out, but maybe down here somewhere. We'll find out, but unless this whole thing froze, I don't know. Hope not. So I'm going to feed these to the goats. Somebody's having a shindig down there. I don't know what it is, but I can hear music. What are you doing today? Well, I'm not sure yet, but Tex just walked by and he stinks. So, would you like to tell the viewers what happened the other night? <laughs> I was. We heard a bunch of dogs yelling and screaming and barking and it sounded like they were fighting something. So, I went and put on my clothes. I didn't have a flashlight, so I used Melanie's phone and, uh, out where I had made the little uh, raised garden yeah, bed. Yeah, the raised garden bed area, that little corner. That's where they were. I heard them out there just raising cane. And so had I had Melanie turn on the outside light so I could see and see what it would be, but it was too dark. So I just put on my jacket, grabbed my, my uh, little pew pew and uh, walked out there and I saw Tex rubbing his face in the dirt and I went, oh no. And then I smelt it. It was a skunk. And they had it cornered inside there and Bama was on one side, Tex was on the other and Sarge was sitting out at the fence. He was just sitting there watching everything. He's smart enough, he knows. I think he's been there before. But anyway, Tex and Bama were tag teaming it teaming it going at it and it kept spraying and spraying and spraying and then I walked up to it hit it with that light and it turned looked at me turned around and tried to spray me but it didn't have a lot of spray left I guess because it didn't hit me so I was chewing it trying to get it out get it out and told the dogs to get back so I could try to get it out and get it out of the yard and it'd move and then it'd come back and it'd just stare at me you know and I was like oh gosh maybe it's got rabies I don't know so I took my pew pew and I didn't want to shoot it, you know, cause I didn't want to blow that stink all over the place. So anyway, I'd shot right beside it and the dirt blew up on it and it tried to run and it stopped, turned around, came back and looked right at me again. I thought, oh no, he must have rabies or something. So I kept shooing him back and, and uh, so I shot again beside him and he, he took off and went through on the outside of that little hut thing started going down my fence line and he stopped on that cement stuff over by the that I was trying to lift with the tractor that one day if y'all remember by Tiki's grave right and uh anyway he stopped there on top of that cement he turned around and he looked at me and he came back towards me like he was mad at me and I thought oh man this guy's got rabies and so I picked up a stick and I threw it at him and he turned and ran and I picked up a brick and threw it at him and he went down that fence line and went under a hole and out so if he has rabies, I don't know. Maybe I should have killed him. I don't know. But I didn't want to blow skunk juice everywhere, so. But Mr. Big Guy here yeah, he still, still stinks. stinks. I'm going to have to uh, get my spray out and spray him down. It's supposed to kill odors, but we'll see. And back over there is where it was yeah. happening. So, so anyway, all right. That was an interesting that's story. story. And I'm sticking to it, and <laughs> I want to finish doing this stuff. All right. By the way, these little cheap lots, I think they were $8 at, at Dollar General. And they had them on sale half price for like four bucks. I thought, man, they're pretty cheap. I have a pair just about like them that are cheap, but I said, what the heck? So I did buy them. 
next time I went down there, it was like 75% off or whatever. So I got these for like $2. So I said, why not? They're cheap as all get out, but $2 to cut this down would be just fine. with the good watering that this tree will make it. It's froze back before. That's why these stumps are the way they are. Because this, uh, this Chevrolet was probably the largest that it's been. wasn't this time. It was the time before when all these froze back. As you can see the how big the stems they are. And uh, as big as these stalks are, they were on up there. It was probably 20 feet tall. And we got that snow and all that stuff that freeze. And after the snow melted, it just iced over. And that's what killed it back. So we cut it back and all these came out and was what froze this year. Oh well, we'll just keep at it. And that over there, I don't know. I bet I'm gonna wind up cutting it way back. So, we'll see. Well, now gather them all up. Start taking them over to the goats. They're not mushy. They're just soft like leather. So, the goats that eat them, they'll like that. So, uh, Okay, so he's going to take some, and I'm going to grab a handful, and we'll check back. So, that's the last of the salt cedar limbs, and then those Shuffleira stuff we just threw over. There's a little bit. Big white chicken. Even though Rusty has a mountain to climb on. Daisy, how's it going? A little bit. Yeah.
little bit likes the Chevalier leaves. Hello Daisy, how are you? You're a pretty girl. Hungry. Right? <laughs> this is for the chicken scratch. <laughs> the other guys get clean and just. That's funny. Like they're starving. <laughs> See their bellies are all puffed up because they're gluttony. Well, if you had to end this lovely video, what would you say about your plants, your goats, the world, whatever? Well, I love my kids, especially little ones like that down there. Mm-hmm. I just they'll step on you like you did me, right on my toe. <laughs> anyway, uh, love my kids. Hey, Don. All right. And um, it's getting warm. It's... Well, I got rid of one already. So anyway, I just thought I'd.
give the chickens a little scratch since they got plenty to eat in here for a while. And I'm not going to feed them any more hay, not until they get that cleaned up. And uh, looks like little Franny here, her uh, udders are starting to get up pretty good size. So she, uh, she'll be having some kids here pretty soon. All right, so I guess we'll just enjoy the rest of the afternoon and um, what should they do if they like our channel, honey? Wrap it up for subscribe, us. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, thumbs up, thumbs down, comment. All right. You like to comment back? Uh, sometimes. It depends. I usually don't, but I will sometimes. I do. I like it. So y'all comment. Tell us how you like our goats and, you know, etc. We like them. Wait a minute, See y'all later. Mm -hmm.